Welcome to our channel. Watch the video until the end. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Our universe Eritrisk black holes. The latest Drisk James Webb spacingly confirmed the theories of Nobel Prize winner Penrose. Thus, our image of the universe would no longer be the same. We must rethink and consider the birth of our cosmos within a black hole. The new James Webb Space Telescope has been operational since the summer of 2022, and it's time to review the unusual discoveries made by this telescope and especially to dare a look at what this now means for science and our cosmological view of the world. It all started with this image of deep space. When NASA first presented the image to the public, no one had any idea what could really be seen. Scientists knew that the image would show very ancient galaxies. James Webb was supposed to observe the edges of the cosmic dawn and finally show us what the first stars and galaxies looked like, but then something unexpected happened. Depth analyses of the image suddenly showed rows upon rows of galaxies too old, too large, too small, too massive, or too faint to fit into standard cosmological models. They simply shouldn't be there. These six galaxies are about to forever change our view of the primordial universe. These galaxies are almost as massive as the asterisk asterisk Milky Way asterisk asterisk and are filled with very old red stars. Based on the first data released by Webb, these galaxies are so distant that even the most powerful telescope in the world can see them only as tiny reddish points. However, the dim light is enough to draw much more important information from the spectrum of colors. This allows us to discover something about their age, size, and density. And here comes the shock. These galaxies already existed when our universe was only 500,700 million years old. Such early galaxies aren't that surprising, but the first star clusters should have been much more chaotic, darker, and somehow smaller. At the time of their existence between 13.1 and 13.3 billion years ago, it is assumed that the universe was emerging from the so-called Dark Ages and that the first stars and star clusters were forming. At that time, these six galaxies were probably already as large as our Milky Way. The new discoveries are in stark contrast with the existing ideas about the appearance of the universe and its development in its early years. It was expected that at that time the galaxies would be small, blue, and newborn. After the discoveries, some scientists had to admit that their ideas were wrong or simply too specific. We are observing the oldest black holes. Science now must reinvent itself and researchers have soon developed new exciting ideas about what we are seeing. The most popular theory has become that of supermassive black holes. The new idea seems plausible, but if these six are not galaxies, but black holes, we have another small cosmological problem. But let's first see the details of why these might be black holes and not galaxies. These reddish points could be the dust disks of very large black holes. In very massive black holes, these disks can shine just like galaxies, and most likely around the black holes there are also stars, but they are overshadowed by the red light of the dust disks. The light of young stars, instead, coming from young galaxies, would shine blue. As they age, when they burn their fuel, they cool down and the stars develop a red light. If we are talking about galaxies conforming to current theories, they should be full of young and bright stars. Researchers hypothesize that the first protostars had a very short life. 500,700 million years after the Big Bang, there could have been larger star clusters, with big, bright, and very young stars, but the galaxies with old red stars are beyond the timeline of current models. Although these light sources are very old from our perspective, these objects were still very young at the time they existed and are measured against the compressed timeline of the universe. However, the same also applies to supermassive black holes. According to our current theories, these objects take at least as long as galaxies to reach such sizes. Once again, scientists are busy changing their opinions based on new discoveries. It's possible that the stars of the primordial universe, due to the lack of heavy elements, emitted light in a much more exotic way. This means that the laws of physics were probably different from those today, or that completely different elements existed. If this were true, our understanding of how stars formed in the primordial universe would probably be completely wrong. However, if we are dealing with black holes, perhaps we have not yet understood everything about how these objects formed. Black holes are formed following the collapse of stars. However, 
It is likely that they also form from the direct collapse of gas clouds without forming a star. Older than the universe? What would you say if black holes could survive time and exist before the Big Bang? This is exactly what Sir Roger Penrose's exciting theory suggests. In one of his most famous books, the renowned researcher hypothesized the existence of structures in the universe that could be older than the universe itself. This theory is called conformal cyclic cosmology and states that the universe exists in a series of endless cycles. Each cycle begins with a big bang and ends in a future scenario where black holes are the last objects in space. Penrose has based his arguments on the fact that certain circular patterns in the cosmic microwave background indicate objects that existed before the Big Bang. These objects would then survive the death of a universe and continue to exist in the new one. Penrose's theory thus allows for the possibility of a much older cosmic era that goes beyond the ages of our current universe. The six black holes that might be older than the universe itself could thus be such relics, and their existence would be explained. Penrose's theory was not born from the new observations. The theory of a cyclic universe and surviving structures is much older. A popular final scenario for the cyclic universe is the idea that eventually, giant black holes will have absorbed almost all matter. When there are no more stars, galaxies, or other cosmic phenomena, the universe will collapse for reasons not yet fully explained and re-emerge from a new Big Bang. If Penrose's theory were to explain black holes, Astronomers would still need to discover the first true stars and young galaxies in the images from the James Webb Space Telescope. A Nobel Prize for Black Holes Before understanding whether James Webb might have discovered the first young galaxy, let's take a look at what Sir Roger Penrose researched during his life. Even though until recently his name was not as well known as that of Stephen Hawking or Albert Einstein, this researcher is one of the most brilliant minds of our time. In 2020, Penrose received the Nobel Prize in Physics for his revolutionary contributions to Einstein's general theory of relativity and research on black holes. In the 1960s, Penrose developed singularity theorems together with Stephen Hawking. These theorems demonstrate that black holes are an inevitable consequence of Einstein's theory and that they must exist in our universe under certain conditions. Roger Penrose has always been one of the scientists in his country who was able to communicate complex mathematical concepts in a way that is understandable both to experts and laypeople, and his hypotheses, which often transcend the boundaries between physics, mathematics, and philosophy, are exciting. The twister theory, for example, is an approach that seeks to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. Quantum mechanics deals with the smallest parts of matter, such as atoms and subatomic particles, and explains the behavior of these parts. General relativity, developed by Einstein, describes how gravity works, especially for large objects like planets and stars. Penrose has devised a new way to unite these two theories. Instead of focusing on points in space and time, as is normally done in physics, Twister theory uses mathematical objects that are supposed to create a sort of bridge between the small world of quantum mechanics and the large world of general relativity. Another exciting theory of Penrose is the Orchestrated Objective Reduction ORC -OR, theory, which deals with quantum processes in human neurons' microtubules. Together with neuroscientist Stuart Hameroff, Penrose has worked on the nature of consciousness and human intelligence. His findings are coming back into vogue as they play a role in the development of artificial intelligence and in assessing the risks posed by ICE. After this foray into the scientific world of Roger Penrose, let's see if James Webb has discovered one of those young galaxies that researchers are desperately seeking. A galaxy extremely faint and distant. When researchers identified one of the faintest and most distant galaxies in Webb's images, the odds of finally seeing a primordial star cluster with many protostars were quite good. But once again the researchers were disappointed because this galaxy is too faint to be full of super bright stars. The first stars that lit up the universe are called Population 3 stars. And researchers are convinced they were super bright and incredibly large. After a very short life, they exploded and initiated a chemical change in the cosmos. These supernovae introduced completely new elements into the cosmos. In astronomy and cosmology, all elements heavier than hydrogen and helium are defined as metals. The unusual classification dates back to when astronomers distinguished only between these two lighter elements and all others. 
It is estimated that the first stars, formed after the Big Bang, were composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, the two lightest and most abundant elements in the universe, while heavier elements such as iron, nickel, and copper did not yet exist. However, when the first protostars exploded, they likely expelled parts of these elements into the cosmos, thus allowing the existence of more stable stars, the formation of planets, and even life. So wherever astronomers look in the James Webb Space Telescope images of the primordial universe, they find only galaxies that challenge our physical and mathematical framework of the beginning of the universe and time. This confirms that there is still much to discover and understand about the origins and evolution of our universe. There may be physical laws not yet known or initial conditions of the universe that differ significantly from those predicted by current models. The continuous exploration of deep space with advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope not only helps us solve these mysteries but also poses new questions that could one day lead to a more complete understanding of the universe we live in. Subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos for further updates on the discoveries and theories that are changing our view of the cosmos.